Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I am a yoga instructor and a cat mom. And today I am going to be flowing and moving with you all through a nice, slow, yin style yoga class. So if you've never practiced yin, yin is all about committing to stillness and really just listening to your body and moving with your body and allowing your body to move you as deep as it wants. So that being said, it's all about being comfy. So get something comfy on, grab a glass of tea, maybe even grab a few pillows, a few blankets, maybe a book or two, whatever is going to help you get as comfortable as you can on your mat. Go ahead and gather all of those things up and get ready to commit to stillness with me on our mats. So coming to lie flat on your back, getting there however you want, whether that's just lying all the way down, or whether that's being a little bit starting to be a little bit more gentle on yourself. So taking your hands behind you and then lowering all the way down to your back. Taking your feet wide, taking your arms long, coming out to laying on your mat. So today's yin class I have planned to require no props. So if you wanna grab a blanket or a pillow, you can go ahead and do so, but you're not gonna need them today. All we're gonna need is a nice comfortable place to set our body in a nice, and your body, you'll need your body. You'll definitely need that. Um, so once you're ready, come ahead and come on to your back. Get comfortable and come to your breath. Start to notice how your breath is moving in and out the nose. Maybe see if you can notice that your breath is actually moving through one nostril more than the other. See if you can follow your breath all the way down into the throat. Just allowing your breath pull you deeper and deeper into your body. Following the breath from the nose to the throat. And then all the way down into the chest cavity. Maybe your breath even moves into your stomach. And just take a moment with your breath deep inside of you and notice something. Notice how your breath is moving around inside of you. Notice something about the muscles that the breath is reaching. So maybe noticing if you feel a little tight or tense. Just notice. Don't try to change or to alter anything. Simply take note of what is going on inside of your body. And allow it to be as you sink deeper into your mat. Feeling the weight of your body sinking deeper and deeper into your mat, or maybe into your blanket like I have. And just relax here. Start to come into this idea of stillness, one of the pillars of a yin class. So if this is your first time ever taking a yin class, this is a very meditative based style yoga where we hold poses for a long amount of time. So the goal is to find as much stillness as possible. Stillness in the mind and the body. Trying to move away from any fidgets or any thoughts. So what I like to do to keep my mind away from thoughts is I like to think of my thoughts as clouds, letting them float in and float out of my mind without ever stopping. I like to imagine that my mind is this clear blue sky, and that as a thought comes in, a cloud covers my blue sky. And then I send that cloud away, giving it no extra thought, no extra judgment. Maybe even come to 
to your breath. And just come back to noticing the breath, moving through the nose, moving through the whole nasal cavity, moving down through the muscles of the throat as it dumps into the chest or the stomach. And as the breath is here in the stomach, feel that warmth. Feel that comfort and love that your breath fills you up with. And then grab a hold of it and follow it out. Following your breath back up the stomach, back up and out of the throat muscles. Moving all the way out one nostril, maybe more than the other. Allowing your mind to rest on whatever it is that you find comfort in. Which brings us to our second pillar of a yin style class. That's comfort. And moving into your comfort. Into your appropriate edge. There are no quote unquote in poses. There's no goal in this class. We're moving into your variation of a pose that you can hold for three to five minutes. Something that feels comfortable, something that you can move into without giving any engagement. We're not looking for engagement. We're just looking for a sweet, sweet sensation. Again, something that you can hold through stillness for given amounts of We have just a couple more moments here on our back. So just take a moment, take these next few moments and come in to yourself. Notice why you came to class this evening. Maybe even set an intention, whether that be a phrase or just a single word like stillness or compassion, or maybe it's just to be here on your mat, to allow anything outside of the mat be a different world, and right now only be focusing on this world. And then we're going to move into our first pose. It's called banana pose. So you're going to walk your left toes to meet the right. And then just walk the feet just over a couple more steps to the right. Feel that sweet stretch start to move up from your hip into your side. And you can either stay here or you can start to reach the left hand above your head and start to curl yourself off to the right. Kind of reaching the right and left hand towards that right wall, but trying to keep that left shoulder blade on the ground. There are many ways to deepen this pose. You can cross the feet. You can try to get your left hand to touch the right hand. But remember, there's no end goal. So whether you're crossing your feet, whether you're reaching your hands to the right, or you just have your feet moving to the right. Honor where you are today. And just be here. And notice something. Whether that's something about the pose or your muscles, or maybe it's just noticing your body and your breath and how the breath moves through the body.
starting to notice if you can feel your body tensing up or if it's relaxing into the mat. The goal is to try to have it relaxing deeper and deeper with every breath. So notice if you're tightening at the legs or tightening at the shoulders. If so, just give yourself the permission to sink, to be exactly where you are because this is exactly where you're supposed to be. Reassure yourself that it is completely okay to sink deeper. Take a big inhale, filling yourself up as much as you can, and then come to that pause in between your inhales and your exhales. Notice something about that pause, and then when you exhale, as you exhale, exhale everything out and slowly start to move the body back to center. Starting to walk the left foot out to the left. And then moving the right to meet it. And again, taking the feet as far to the left as you wish, maybe even crossing that ankle. And then just taking a moment and start to notice that stretch from the hip up into the side. And then determine if you want to start to walk the hand off to the left. Creating this kind of C shape. And then come into this pose and notice something. Maybe notice something different about this side compared to the other side. Whether that be that you can keep your right shoulder into the mat a little bit easier, or maybe that's harder for you on this side. Maybe you notice you can move deeper before finding your edge, or maybe less as deep. One side of our body is always going to be a little bit different than the other, a little bit tighter, and that is completely okay. The goal is just to try to get them as even as possible. So come in to yourself, sink in to your breath, come back to that idea of giving yourself the permission to be exactly where you are, even if it's a little bit different than what you did on the other side. Give yourself the permission to sink, to relax right here and right now. our big inhale, filling ourselves so much that when we find our pause, we can just notice how it feels to sit full for a moment. And then when you exhale, as you exhale, bring everything back to center. Just taking a moment to feel your spine sink back into neutrality. Maybe even notice if you can feel the breath moving back down into the spine. Sinking everything completely back into the mat. And then we'll bend the knees up. And we'll take the right ankle and cross it over that left knee. Trying to see if you can keep space in between your ankle and the knee. And also some space in between the ankle and the leg. So just putting your peace fingers in between your ankle and 
on the leg and then peace fingers in between your shin and the knee. And then try to sink that knee open. So that right knee, instead of trying to let it come towards the face, think about letting it sink towards the wall in front of you. Allowing that foot to relax, maybe even wiggling the toes, giving the leg a massage, keeping the core nice and relaxed. And just come here into our sleeping swan. Maybe even taking one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Or if you wish to move deeper, you can interlock the finger behind that left thigh and pull the knee into the face. But remember, we're not looking for a deep stretch. We're looking for a sweet, sweet sensation. Your appropriate edge for holding this pose for a given amount of time. So find your edge, whether that means knee, left knee is lifted towards the stomach, whether that means you're on tippy toes or on your flat foot, wherever that means for you today, find it. Commit to it and sink into stillness. And notice whatever there is to notice here on this side in this pose. This is a time. 
mind that you should be nourishing your whole body up with thoughts that fill you with nourishment and with poses that allow you to nourish every part of your body. Nourishing parts of the body deeper than the muscle. Nourishing the ligaments and the tendons and sinking into that sweet, sweet feeling of giving your body exactly what it needs today. Just notice something here. And then imagine you're moving through honey as you slowly start to sit all the way up. Moving as slowly as you possibly can. Allowing the transition just to be as nourishing as the poses. As we come into butterfly pose. So feet together in front of you knees are going to be out wide beside you and if this is already uncomfortable for your knees you can take your hands and place them under the knees and give some support to what feels comfortable for you or if you have some pillows or some blocks you can always place those under your knees but again we're trying to have no props today so coming on to your butterfly, so the closer your feet are to your hips, the more of an internal hip stretch you're going to get, and the further away the feet are from the hips, the more of an external hip stretch you'll receive. So pick again what nourishes your body this evening, whether that means hands are placed on the knees even, or whether they're sinking down into the mat. Honor your body. And then take a moment and just feel yourself just ever so gently lift towards the ceiling. And then exhale, start to bring chin to chest. And maybe this is already deep enough for you. Maybe you wish to stay here. And this is a variation of the pose if it is what is nourishing your body today. Even if it's not where you were yesterday, if your body is asking you to stay here, please honor and nourish that feeling. If you wish to move deeper, think about bringing forehead to chest, starting to find this nice little curl in the spine. Maybe even think about bringing forehead to stomach. And take a moment here and find some stillness. Notice how the body feels as you breathe. And again, maybe this is exactly where you stop. Or 
maybe the body is asking you to move deeper, telling you that your appropriate edge is a little bit deeper than where you are now. Slowly, inch by inch, start to inch your head towards your toes, not rushing there as quickly as you can, but slowly, taking as many breaths as possible. Maybe take a breath and lower an inch. And then take a breath here and just notice how this inch feels. And then lower another inch. Using these next three minutes to sink deeper. To slowly move deeper and deeper into the pose or deeper and deeper into yourself. Not rushing anywhere. Simply allowing your body to move you into the pose instead of you moving yourself into the pose. Allow gravity and relaxation to sink you deeper and deeper in. Remembering that we are nourishing our bodies this evening, not only through the poses, but also through our thoughts. Maybe coming back to that idea of your mind being a clear blue sky and allowing your thoughts to be little pieces your thoughts to be little pieces of clouds moving through the sky. The thoughts drifting in every now and then, but not allowing them to stop. Allowing those clouds to move out of your clear sky just as quickly as they came in. We have about 60 more seconds. And remember, if you wish to move deeper, you are more than welcome. But the same thing goes for if you wish to move out of where you came. If you're starting to feel yourself tensing up and you can't relax into it, or if you start to feel pain, pain is never welcome. Rise up and honor your body telling you to rise. Give it all the nourishment it needs to feel safe and exactly where you are today. As you start to frame your hands right beside the feet. Then we're going to think about a cat, like a scared cat. You're pushing into your hands to push the spine back, starting to curl the spine back over the hips. And then slowly, like you're moving through honey, see how slowly 
you can start to curl one vertebrae back on top of the other. Slowly, seeing, as, seeing how slow you can stack head, neck, and shoulders over the hips. And as they get there, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back and down as you bring hands behind you. And just take a moment and see if you can feel your heart pulling up towards the ceiling. Ever so gently rooting into your hands behind you. Rebounding. Allowing your body to sink back into neutrality. Maybe you keep knees out wide or maybe you bring them in and rebound here by hugging the knees and finding some space between every vertebrae and breathing breath into all of that space. And then we'll move into one more po pose before returning back to our backs. So we'll straighten the legs out in front of us. If, so if knees were up, and you are hugging them, you can straighten them out in front of you. If you still had knees wide, you can straighten the legs out to a wide version of this pose. It's really up to you, whichever you're feeling today. So if legs are wide, try not taking them as far as you can. Just take them to wherever your legs naturally opened up to. And then if legs are in front of you, maybe you find a gentle bend. Actually, if legs are in front or if they're wide, maybe you find a gentle bend in the knees. Relax the toes. So give the toes a wiggle. Maybe give the leg a nice little massage. And then wherever you are. Maybe you just stay here and you focus on here. Maybe it's already deep enough for you. Or you can start to move through those movements of bringing chin to chest. Taking a couple breaths here, and again, maybe this is further enough for you. Maybe this is the edge that allows your body to nourish itself this evening. Or maybe you start to bring forehead to stomach, finding that deep curl in the spine, and taking a breath here. Taking a couple breaths and just noticing. Again, notice what the body is saying. Notice if the body is already asking you to back out. If so, please rise up a little bit. Maybe it's asking you to stay right here, to commit to stillness right in this pose. Or maybe it's asking you to think about curling forehead down to the mat if legs are wide, or down to knees if legs are together. Remembering that if you're curling forehead down towards the mat or the knees, to do so slowly. Not to run as quickly as you can down, but to slowly move. To slowly, breath by breath to find your edge, to find the variation that is going to nourish your body tonight. feeling? Are you tightening the knees and the thighs? Or are you allowing your body to sink into exactly where it is today? Are you giving yourself that permission to relax? Finding your clear blue sky, 
I'm just watching the clouds drift through, not allowing them to stop, not giving any extra thought to the clouds moving in and out. And remember, if you wish to move deeper, or if you wish to rise from where you have fallen, give yourself that permission. And then recommit to the stillness, as we have about 60 more seconds. And then take your big inhale. Take the biggest inhale you've taken all class. And then exhale, start to bring your hands to the mat, whether on the inside or the outside of the leg. And then find that sweet little cat pose, pushing into the hands and sending the spine back to the wall behind you, bringing chin to chest. And then seeing if you can even move slower than last time to stack one vertebrae back on top of the other. Slowly rolling the shoulders up. Slowly rolling them back and down to stack shoulders, head, and neck back into neutrality. Maybe you just bring one ear to the same shoulder, so right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And bring the hands behind you if they aren't already. And come into your rebound. Maybe again, you can walk the legs together if they were out wide. You can even bend the knees and rock them side to side if that feels comfortable for you. Or maybe you just give yourself a little hug. Inhale, feeling the heart just ever so gently pulling forward. Exhale, sinking into the weight of your body with every exhale. Allowing your inhales to find space in between every vertebrae. To allow your breath to sink back down to nourish the whole spine. And then we'll bring the hands behind us as we start to lower back down onto our backs. So taking one elbow down to the mat and then the other. Letting the elbows Start to splay out as you lower all the way down onto the back. And then hug the knees into chest. Give them a tight little squeeze. Maybe rock side to side for a moment. Or maybe even slowly walk, rocking the knees in a circle. rock them in a circle, go ahead and rock them the other direction. Really giving your back a nice little massage. And then we'll bring the hands to the shins. And we'll start to let the knees and the shins kind of fall off to the side. So the shins, the knee, the right knee is going to fall to the right. The right shin is going to fall to the right. And the opposite goes for the left leg. Coming into this little tiny variation of happy baby. Taking deep belly 
belly breaths. So the a belly breath is the type of breath we find when we take a yawn. So maybe take a yawn and notice that feeling. Maybe you continue to take yawns. Or maybe you try to mimic that breath with your natural breath. Allowing the core to relax so the whole spine can just naturally sink into the mat. Maybe this is deep enough for you. Finding that sweet variation between knees touching and knees as far as they can go if this is a little bit already too deep for you. The knees don't have to go all the way out if this is uncomfortable. They can be as close or as far apart as you wish to make them. Or maybe you wish to move deeper. If so, bring the hands onto the insides of the legs. Not reaching for the feet just yet, just reaching for the shins. And then start to pull the shins parallel to the wall behind you. So the knees are still rooting down towards the mat below you. But you're trying to move ankles over knees. Knees bent. Not letting your tailbone pick up off the mat. So not pulling yourself so deep into this pose that the tailbone lifts. But instead, just moving deep enough just to get the feet, the shins parallel. Sinking the whole spine into the mat. And again, if the legs are lifted, you can also find any variation you need here. Whether that means reaching for the feet, pulling yourself down, or whether that means sliding the hands down the shin. And just letting yourself relax here, working against gravity. You just have about 90 more seconds. So remember to nourish your body. If at any point in these moments this gets too intense, you are more than welcome to lower the feet back down to where you're just reaching for shin. You are also more than welcome to pull the knees in. But before pulling the knees all the way in, before moving out from where you are right now, See if you can relax. See if you can give yourself the permission to be exactly where you are. And then, if you still wish to move out from where you are, please honor that feeling and move out. And then recommit to the stillness. Remembering that you have full control and that if something is not nourishing your body, whether that be the pose, a feeling, or a thought, you have every bit of control to change it so that it is nourishing you. reaching up to the ceiling, go ahead and slowly start to bend the knees. Bring feet down towards thighs. And then we'll all slowly see how slowly you can bring knees back together. Maybe taking the knees out wide in a circle and then pulling them back in and then back in towards the chest. And just do that a couple more times. Take the knees out in a wide circle. Send them towards the front of the room. Bring them in and then hug them back in the chest. One more time. Take your big circle. And 
hands and give yourself a tight little squeeze. And then move into one final pose. Dead buck, my favorite pose. So we'll lift our legs up to the ceiling. Maybe engaging the feet down, feeling that nice engagement of the legs, and then letting it, letting everything relax. Letting the toes and the feet relax, maybe give the feet, the toes and the ankles a nice little wiggle. Letting the legs relax by giving yourself a nice gentle massage of the legs. Finding your belly breath to allow the core to relax. And then reach the hands up. Giving the fingers a nice little wiggle. Finding a gentle bend in the elbows. And maybe even in the knees if you aren't bending them. Just ever so slightly already. Allowing shoulders to sink into the mat. And come into this pose. Into this pose that defies everything that we know. We're defying gravity without doing any work. We're not engaging our legs up. We're not working against what we know. Instead, we're sinking into the unknown. Sinking into something that is a little foreign to our bodies. So maybe you're starting to feel a little bit of a shake. That shake is completely okay. It shows that you are doing something that you are not used to. That you're moving your body and your blood and energy in a direction that the body is not used to. And by relaxing into this pose, and by honoring that shake, you start to find comfort in the discomfort. You start to realize that you can find comfort in something that is unknown. Comfort in something that is a little bit strange. Comfort in something that doesn't really make sense. So honor that shake. Maybe even allow the shake and this pose to bring a smile across your face. And take a couple deep inhales and exhales, allowing your exhale to sink out the mouth. Allowing everything to shake out of the body. Allow your exhales to sink everything out. And when you're ready, whenever you are ready, bending the knees, bending the elbows and lowering the arms and the legs down onto the mat. Coming into Shavasana, taking any gentle movements that you might need to get comfortable, to completely rest into our final resting pose. Into the pose that here in Yin we use as the complete reset button. Actually in all yoga, this is the reset button. It's the button that allows our body to soak in all of the benefits of every pose you just did. So take these next couple of moments and notice the body. Maybe 
for as long as you wish. But if you wish to go ahead and come out of the pose, start by pulling the attention back into your mind. Start by then deepening your breath, seeing if you can deepen your breath so much that the breath moves all the way down into the fingers and the toes. And when the breath reaches, as the breath reaches the toes and the fingers, go ahead and start to gently wiggle them, continuing to deepen your breath as you start to turn the wrists and the ankles, maybe even bending the knees and the elbows. I like to kind of rock my hips and shoulders from side to side. As I slowly start to straighten the legs all the way up together in front of me, and the arms all the way together, reaching out behind me. And take a big stretch, as if this was the first time you were waking up this morning. And when you're ready, whenever you are ready, slowly hug one knee into chest and then the other. And then give yourself such a big squeeze that you pull the knees into your chest, forehead into knees. And all I ask of you here is that you say something nice to yourself. Say something nice to yourself that is also about yourself. And then once you're done saying that nice thing, rock on to your favorite step. Take your arm, the bottom arm under the head like a pillow the top arm in front of the chest like a kickstand. And just take this moment and thank yourself. Thank yourself for taking time out of your week, time out of your day to simply be with yourself, to be with your mind, body, and soul, and to be breathing all of those three into one. And then thank yourself for that sweet, sweet thing you just said. And then when you're ready, whenever you are ready, you'll push up into a comfortable seat. Remembering to see how slowly you can get there feeling free to keep eyes closed as you just bring hands to heart center. And just take this moment to notice how you feel. Maybe you feel a little open. Maybe the body feels relaxed. But move into how your mind and your soul feel that relaxed, calm, loving feeling. And know that you can find this feeling whenever and wherever you wish. You don't need me. You don't need any other instructor or any other person. All you need is yourself and enough time to take a breath and you can find this feeling. So to keep that in mind, we bring fingers to foreheads to allow for clear, happy, loving thoughts to always be with us when we speak to ourselves. We bring hands to our lips to allow for clear, happy, 
loving communications to always be with us as we speak to others. And then we bring hands back to heart center to allow for clear, happy, loving intentions to always be with us as we step off our mats and go in to the world. Loka Samusta Suki no Babantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may my happiness add to the happiness and well-being of all. Namaste. So before closing out the video, I would like to say one thing, and that is that with yin, we move really, really deep into the body. We're moving into the ligaments and into the joints. We're moving past the muscles, and we're really hydrating those joints. So if you do anything at all after this class, please make sure that it is drinking at least a glass of water. Keep everything that we just hydrated inside of ourselves. Keep it hydrated. Drink that glass of water and just really take that time to enjoy that glass of water. Maybe if this class made you feel nice and warm and bubbly, see if you can bring that feeling with you into that glass and maybe even past that glass of water and into your next day. So anyways, thank you all so, so much for practicing with practicing with me in this yin style class this evening or afternoon or whenever you're flowing and if you like this video and you want to see more full style yoga classes or even if you want to see more shorter yin style classes let me know by giving this video a like and if you have any questions comments or concerns or if you just want to let me know what your favorite part of today's video was you can comment it down below and I will get to it as soon as I see it. And while you're down there, as always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Help me reach my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of the and summer. And once again, thank you all so, so much for practicing with me today. And I will see you all next time in my next video. Namaste.